day three of week two. We are in uh, we are in the next section of of chapter four. We're actually going to jump a little bit into chapter five this day too. So we're going to go from Matthew chapter four verse twenty three, and then we're going to go into chapter five up to verse twelve. Right. So we're going to see we're going to see Jesus ministering to the crowds. And then we're going to see Jesus going up on a mountain. And then the next three chapters are actually Jesus preaching um, the new kingdom in a lot of ways to this group of people. And so then we're going to see the Beatitudes. So let's break this down. First thing we see, and this is that Jesus continues to proclaim the kingdom of his gospel. He's proclaiming a kingdom. And so that's why we see when he starts the Sermon on the Mount, what's the first thing he does? He talks about, in a lot of ways, what citizens are to look like in this new kingdom. He talks about what it means to be a Christian in this new kingdom. And he breaks it down, and there's a lot of studying that's been done on the Beatitudes, and I don't have enough time to break this down, but it's it's a lot of beautiful, wonderful things that Jesus is showing us of what the Christian becomes and then how they're to live out in this new kingdom, even if they're in this world, right? Even the persecution we face, Jesus is showing what it looks like. The second thing we see is that Jesus gives the law on a mountain like Moses who received the law on a mountain. Okay, this is important. This is really important because, again, we've been talking about how Jesus is the better Moses. This is where we see a clear indication, and that's why Matthew says Jesus went up on a mountain and he sat down like a teacher would sit down and he taught the disciples And this is what he says. Again, he's showing them what it looks like to live in this kingdom. He's fulfilling the law in a lot of ways. And again, Jesus, this is our last point, is that Jesus shows what a citizen of this heavenly kingdom is to be. He says, blessed are those who have their hearts purified. How are we purified? Through Jesus's blood. Our hearts are washed in the blood of Christ. And now we're able to live and to spread the gospel in this new kingdom. This is important, right? This is important what we're seeing Jesus do. Um, And so as you go and do the ransom method through this first section of the Sermon on the Mount, I encourage you to take your time to study this and to apply this to your life. There are so many great ways that we can apply this to our lives. Maybe you see in certain ways how um, maybe you're not a peacemaker as much, or you haven't even thought of that. That's, That's what a Christian's life is to be. Study that and grow in that, okay? So go and do the ransom method and we'll see you tomorrow.